Okay, good morning. We're, um, we're going to look at some uh, Irish history today. Uh, we're going to examine stuff from uh, the booklet that we've used uh, on several occasions in Class Ireland exams, looking at uh, 2009 through to 2013. What I want to do initially is to take a look at the dreaded A question. This is the compulsory question for Edexcel that you have no control over. It is worth 20 marks, uh, the A question, as opposed to the B question, which is, of course, worth 40 marks. OK, so the A question. What do we need to be looking at? Well, three letters need to hit us directly. N, O, P. The nature, the origin and the purpose. N, O, P. Without that, your understanding of an A question is going to be very limited indeed, and your response is not going to be uh, is not going to be good. So N O P, nature, origin, and purpose. Nature. What's it about? Uh, what's going on? <laughs> you know, have you revised? Basically, do you know exactly uh, to what it's referring? Origin. Where is it from? Uh, where is it actually coming from? Uh, who is speaking? Uh, who are they speaking to, if that's the case? And, of course, fundamentally, especially on the A question, the year. Now, whilst the A question does not require you to, um, to give of your own knowledge, it does definitely require you to have an understanding of events in and around that time. And especially if you're given three sources and it shows that there is clearly one source maybe from an early part, one from a middle part, and one from a later part of the period, then that's going to change the nature of the source. And it's also going to change the last thing, the P bit, the purpose. What on earth is the source getting at? Nature, what's it about? Origin, where's it coming from? And P, purpose, Really, what is it trying to get at? So, it's worth 20 marks. You're only going to spend about 25 minutes on this. No more. The 40 marker, that's the biggie. It's worth twice as many marks. You've got a choice on this. One from the earlier part of the period. One from the later part of the period. So, without further ado, from our booklet... I'm just going to literally open it at random and find an exam question. So I seem to be looking at a source that refers to um, the June 2010 exam. June 2010. That's the first question, the A question. And the question is, how far do sources 1, 2 and 3 support the view that in the later 19th century... Unrest in Ireland was caused mainly by economic issues. Sources 1, 2 and 3. Now, I'm not going to go through all of this question with you, but let's give it an overview. We've got economic issues in our minds now, haven't we? You know, is unrest at this time due to economic issues? First things first, who is speaking? Source 1 is Michael Davitt. Michael Davitt, The Fall of Feudalism, published 1904. Straight away, who is Michael Davitt? Yeah? He's a revolutionary nationalist. It's Davitt that works alongside Parnell, isn't it? So we're going to have a revolutionary tone through this. This man's a professional revolutionary. Writing in 1904, he's writing really after Parnell's death and after almost what we would call the demise of the, the Home Rule movement. We, we should be expecting to hear some fiery language there. Source 2 is a report of the Belfast Riot Commissioners from 1887. Now that is just immediately after, isn't it, the first Home Rule Bill of 1885-86, the rejection in the House of Commons. And it's talking about the Belfast riot commissioners, rioting going on in Belfast. So we have Belfast up there in the north, up in Ulster. Finally, Douglas Hyde, The Revival of Irish Literature, 1894. Hyde was one of the founders of the Gaelic League. The Gaelic League, everything 
that the Irish hold true and good to their heart. It's not just about economy, it's about their pride, their, their pride in the Gaelic tongue, the Gaelic spoken word, Gaelic poetry, Gaelic sport. Three differing perspectives. One, a revolutionary nationalist. Two, a government report clearly after the first Home Rule Bill. And three, there you have a, a, a cultural nationalist. Have a look at those and attempt the question, bearing in mind the N-O-P. Good luck.